Hello my dear students welcome back to the lecture series of methods of differentiation this is class number 5 and in this class we will discuss the differentiation of logarithmic and exponential functions so let's get into the video so differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions so before starting the differentiation process first of all i am going to define the exponential function and logarithmic function actually you already know about the exponential function and logarithmic functions in the first year class so though you obtained this in first year class for the continuation of the chapter differentiation of exponential and logarithmic function i am just going to define the exponential and logarithmic functions very briefly so you see the definitions the function y is equal to fx is equal to a to the power x this a may be a number which is greater than 0 and which is not 1 this types of number should be uh, in place of a and this types of functions is known as uh, exponential function and uh, this a may be one not not one it may be 2 3 4 5 or any rational fractions like half 3 by 2 etc so, but a should not be negative number here you see so this types of function is called a uh, is called an exponential function and you see here x can take every value because for any value of x fx is always a defined defined number therefore fx is a uh, therefore the domain of fx is uh, set of real numbers so i am writing here the domain of the function is the set of real numbers and the range range is what Uh, the result of this function result mean the images of all x whatever be the x uh, value of x is taken here you will get always uh, a positive number as the value of fx and therefore the range of the function is non uh, range of the function is uh, positive real numbers so this is positive real numbers and uh, the exponent function with base 10 that mean if this base is 10 mean fx equal to 10 to the power x then it is called natural sorry sorry it is called common exponential function if base is 10 10 to the power x then it is common exponential function and if you take this base as e e mean this e and e is a, an exponential number and it is called napier number actually it is called napier number uh, and irrational number e so if you take in place of a uh, as e then it will be exponential function but it is known as natural exponential function natural exponential function or napier exponential function you may also write that one and then again let a greater than 0 and a is not 1 then a to the power y is equal to x and this will imply this power y is equal to log of x with base a you already know this one with base a so uh, this is known as logarithmic function if the base a this a is taken as 10 then it is called common logarithm you know this and if the base a is taken as e then it is called the natural logarithm or napier logarithm uh, and here you see the domain of the logarithmic function this log x this x should be always a positive number because log 0 is undefined you know that one so it is the set of positive number as the domain of the function so i am writing here the domain of the logarithmic function is the set of positive real numbers and the range range is any real number this is all real numbers okay so these uh, are the definitions of exponential and logarithmic functions so actually this part is discussed in your first year classes but uh, you may write in your copy or you may not write if you know this all this thing you may not write here then we should write the um, properties of logarithmic functions those are also known to you so properties so what are the properties you see log of m plus log of n if this types of logarithms are there then it is simply log of m into n that mean if you have this types of term you can write like this or if you have log of m into n then you can expand the logarithm like this okay if product is there then expanding logarithm there there will be a positive sign in between the logs and similarly number 2 log of 
m base a minus log of n base a is equal to it is m by n that is if it is minus then it will be divide or if you have uh, a logarithm uh, in the quotient form then you can write like this then number 3 log of basis a it is m to the power n so n will be there this n will come in front of logarithm n and then log m okay so then log of m base a can be written like this by taking a new base log of m base b and log of a base b okay so and then finally number 5 log of uh, a to the power log of x base is a this base and logarithm base if these two bases are same then you should eliminate this part mean it is simply equal to x but in our uh, discussion of logarithmic and differentiation uh, differentiation of logarithmic and exponential functions we consider the base of log as e not 10 because 10 base logarithm is not about the scientific calculation uh, for scientific calculation we always take the base of logarithm as e so if we do not write the base of any logarithm in the chapter throughout the chapter then you should consider the base is taken as e okay so now we come to the main topic of the chapter that is the differentiation of exponential and logarithmic function so if you have the function y is equal to log of x this time i am writing the base e here but in the uh, near future or in the chapter problem of the chapter we generally do not write this e here but if we do not write e just we write log of x then you should consider the base of the logarithm is taken as e or you may write ln of x that means you may write like this you may write like uh, y is equal to it is ln of x if you write ln of x then obviously the base is taken as e because ln mean logarithm natural natural logarithm or napier logarithm so if you write ln of x then it is uh, not necessary to mention the uh, base of the logarithm because it is obviously denote the natural logarithm so you may write ln x or you may write log x okay okay so if you have the function log x then the derivative is dy dx will be equal to 1 by x i have already given this differentiation in your first year class uh, and here i am going to prove this dy dx equal to 1 by x is the uh, logarithm of log x how it is 1 by x we should prove here and the second uh, formula is about uh, e to the power x and that will be discussed later on so y is equal to log of x dy dx is equal to 1 by x and we we are to prove this one by the use of first principle of derivative and all of you know the first principle of derivative and that was we know that dy dx is equal to limit of h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx by h you all known it is known to all the students you know this one and this is equal to h tends to 0 and f of x plus h fx mean actually y fx mean actually y mean fx equal to log x actually okay so that means this one uh, it is fx fx is equal to actually here log x is it fx equal to log x simple then if you take f of x plus h here f of x plus h that means x is replaced by h then on the right hand side you are also you are to write this as x plus h you know this that means x is replaced by h so uh, that is why i am writing here f of x plus h as log of x plus h this base is e this base is e you may not write e here because if you do not write e as the base of logarithm in mathematics it should be considered as log of e base something okay so now combine these two logarithms by using the property because log of this part is a minus log b then it will be log of a by b it is simply log of e base x plus h by x this x plus h by x because this is minus and divided by h is already there and then is equal to log of e base 
separating this division so x by x is 1 then plus it is h by x this one and for uh, to get the formula of logarithm in limit we need this h as this number I mean h by x should also be the denominator to get a formula of limit so it is x by a, h by a so we we should also have h by x here also so we are, we are writing here h by x but here 1 by x is the extra term so product 1 by x for neutralization this uh, neutralization of this 1 by x is equal to then the limit of this part we have a formula of logarithm this limit is equal to 1 you know this is 1 into this 1 by x and 1 into 1 by x is simply 1 by x so dy dx is equal to 1 by x so you should memorize this one log of x derivative is 1 by x but always keep in mind that log of x differentiation is 1 by x only in case the base is e hmm? if you have the base of the logarithm is e then the derivative is 1 by x not in other case that means uh, if you have like this just erasing just wait that means if you have uh, y is equal to say logarithm of logarithm of x but this time base is taken as 10 say mean common logarithm then you do not write dy dx you cannot write dy dx is equal to 1 by x because the formula is valid only when the base is equal to e not 10 so in this types of problem when the uh, base other than e is given in logarithm first of all you are to change this base by using the property of logarithm and that will be discussed later on so i am erasing this you should always keep in mind logarithm of x is equal to 1 by x only when only when it is e base is equal to e otherwise it is not 1 by x in case uh, the base is other than e number is given then you are to change this base in terms of e then you are to write the derivative of log x okay so then the next one number two y is equal to a to the power x so uh, dy dx is equal to the formula is a to the power x into log of a this base, base e is optional you may write or you may not write so a to the power x into log a and here a is a number greater than 0 and not equal to 1 mean derivative of the exponential function so the derivative of exponential function is a to the power x into log of a that mean uh, as per example if you take like this uh, derivative of say log of sorry not log uh, derivative of say 2 to the power x if you want to write the derivative of uh, 2 to the power x then it is by the formula it is 2 to the power x itself but there will be extra term log of what log of 2 base is optional i already told you log of 2 2 to the power x log 2 uh, uh, logarithm of say uh, 3 to the power x then 3 to the power x log of 3 in in this way okay so you see here y is equal to a to the power x then dy dx is equal to a to the power x log of a and we are to prove this one again by using the first principle of differentiation so we know that this is similar to the previous one f of x plus is this one is equal to h tends to 0 that this time f of x plus is mean fx is equal to a to the power x so fx plus h is equal to a power x plus h this x should be replaced by x plus h this is x plus h then minus fx is itself function a to the power x by h then we can write this a to the power x plus h as we can write a to the power x plus h as a to the power x into a to the power h you can write then minus a to the power x is already in the numerator then by taking a to the power x common so it is simply a to the power h minus 1 remaining there hmm. that is writing here okay that is writing here and so you see here very simple a to the power x it is a constant number about the logarithm a to the power x this is constant about the limit not logarithm about the about the limit so a to the power x will remain same then this part this part limit of a to the power h minus 1 divided by h has the limiting formula is log of a only and base is optional e 
so that is the formula for uh, the derivative of a to the power x and the last one number 3 e is equal to uh, y is equal to this time e to the power x this is now taking a special number e napier number it is any number greater than 0 and not 1 but this time it is not any number it is a fixed number e it is an irrational number it is called a napier number or exponential number so then the derivative is dy dx is equal to just see here hmm? you may use this formula actually so log of sorry e to the power x derivative is equal to e to the power x into log of e base e e base e is equal to 1 and that is why it is simply e to the power x because logarithm 1 log of 1 is equal to always is equal to 1 you already know that one log of 1 is always equal to 1 so this can also be proved by the similar method of the previous one we know that first term i am writing the theorem dy dx is equal to this one it is the first principle of derivative then here e to the power x is f of x plus h will be is equal to e to the power x plus h then minus fx is e to the power x and by h similarly as in the previous case e to the power x is common then it is e to the power h minus 1 divided by h and this is e to the power h minus 1 by h is equal to 1 only that means it is actually log of e and log e value is equal to 1 that log e divided by uh, sorry log e base e that is, is equal to 1 and so this is 1 you can directly write this has also a formula limit of e power h minus 1 by h is equal to 1 and so I am writing here 1 e to the power x is constant about the logarithm sorry uh, about the limit and so e to the power x into 1 so that is equal to simply e to the power x so that is the formula and now we should go to the problem section of the chapter so find dy dx if the functions are given y is equal to sine of log x very simple problems actually these problems are given only to memorize the formula of logarithm function and formula of uh, exponential function nothing of uh, about uh, nothing else other nothing else uh, then you see uh, y is equal to log of a uh, sine of log x then dy dx is equal to simply first function is sine first function mean the outer function is sine then the inner function is log so there will be uh, the use of chain rule first sine derivative then uh, log derivative so it is simple you see dy dx sine function derivative will be equal to cos log x remaining same into by chain rule this log x derivative just we obtain the formula it is simply 1 by x and that is the answer nothing else okay so then you take another question y is equal to cos inverse of e to the power minus x so here also chain rule is to be used you see first the outer function is e to the power uh, sorry sorry cos inverse is the outer function and inner function is e to the power x so first you are to write the derivative of cos inverse function then e to the power minus x function then this minus x by chain rule okay you see the uh, solution so dy dx is equal to cos inverse function derivative was minus 1 by root over 1 minus x square that was the formula so minus 1 by root over 1 minus x is this part this is taking as x so e to the power minus x whole square that is x square but it is not actually x so by chain rule into d dx of e to the power minus x and that is simply minus e to the power minus x because e to the power minus x derivative is e to the power minus x itself into then minus x derivative is minus 1 so i am writing directly here minus e to the power minus x that is equal to this minus and this minus will make it positive the numerator is e to the power minus x and denominator is 1 minus e to the power minus 2x this one minus 2x is the solution simple question may ask for one mark in your final exam then number 3 y is equal to e to the power cos x simply first of all you are to take the differentiation of e to the power something then you are to write the differentiation of cos x because cos x is inside e 
actual function was e to the power x but it is not e to the power x it is e to the power cos x mean x is replaced by cos x therefore e, e to the power is the uh, primary function then uh, find the derivative of the power so simple dy dx is equal to e to the power cos x derivative is itself e to the power cos x by definition by formula e to the power x derivative is e to the power x so e to the power cos x derivative is e to the power cos x but this is not x we are considering it uh, as x therefore derivative of cos function is equal to minus sin function you have to write that one and that is equal to this minus will come out and e to the power cos x and derivative of sin x uh, sorry e to the power cos x and into simply sin x and that is the answer then you take another question y is equal to e to the power x divided by sin x simple question again and here quotient formula of differentiation will be applied quotient rule of differentiation so that is dy dx is equal to first of all this denominator is square so sin square x then denominator means sin x into derivative of e to the power x and that is simply e to the power x itself then minus this time numerator into that is e to the power x into derivative of the denominator means sin x d dx of sin x is equal to cos x and simply e to the power x is common then it is sin x minus cos x this one and sin square x and you may leave the answer here but i am writing here e to the power x is there then sin x by sin square x one of the sin is cancel so 1 by sin x is there that mean it is cos x minus cos x by sin square mean cos by sin into 1 by sin that is cos x into cot x so you may leave the answer here or you may leave here also so that is the solution for the question then you take another question e to y is equal to e to the power sin inverse x similar method e to the power function first write the derivative of e to the power e to the power something derivative is it, it uh, the function itself then it is not x it is sin inverse x so you are to write the derivative of sin inverse x also by using the chain rule okay so dy dx is equal to e to the power sin inverse x derivative is the function itself e to the power sin inverse x itself into ddx of sin inverse x formula was 1 by root over 1 minus x square all of you know this in the previous chapter and this is equal to you may leave the answer here also but uh, it is given in the question that this is equal to y so this is can be taken as y by root over 1 minus x square so you may leave the answer here also then y is equal to sin of 10 inverse of e to the power minus x very simple this time the most outer fun function is sin then the function is 10 inverse then the function is e then the function is minus x so you write that one dy dx it is is equal to sin function derivative is cos inside terms will remain same into ddx of this part is taking uh, was taking as x so ddx of 10 inverse derivative the formula for 10 inverse x was 1 by 1 plus x square so it is into 1 by 1 plus x is here e to the power minus x so e to the power minus x square into ddx of e to the power minus x and that is simply minus e to the power minus x already discussed in the previous problems so this is equal to it is simply denominator 1 plus e to the power minus twice x this one you may write e to the power minus x whole square or you may write e to the power minus twice x and here this minus is coming in front of all functions e to the power minus x is here and then it is cos of 10 inverse this and that is the solution for the question you may leave the answer here okay so we take a fresh question number seven y is equal to log of cos of e to the power x simple first take the uh, differentiation of log x then take the differentiation of cos and then take the differentiation of e to the power x simple so dy dx will be is equal to log function derivative formula was log of x derivative is 1 by x here you see the base of logarithm is not given so we should consider the base is as uh, the base is e and so e base logarithm derivative we know that it is 1 by x and here this all terms is considered as x so log of this x is 1 by this x x mean cos e power x into then you write the derivative of cos function that is simply minus sine this term will remain same 
cos, cos function derivative is minus sine of this inner part is remaining same into then you write the derivative of e to the power x function and that is simply e to the power x itself and this time it is x so the differentiation process will stop here and this is equal to minus will come in front of the function e to the power x is written in front of all functions and into this sin e to the power x divided by cos e to the power x is simply 10 e to the power x okay so that is the solution for the question you take another question y is equal to e power x plus u power minus uh, x square plus e power x cube plus e power x to the power 4 plus e to the power x to the power 5 so this is simple question you simply uh, take the differentiation e to the power x derivative and here the chain rule will not apply because it is the primary function but in all of the other functions x square x cube x to the power 4 and x to the power 5 in all of this the chain rule will apply but here chain rule will not apply because it is the primary function e to the power x but these are not primary these are composite functions so e to the power first take the derivative of e to the power then take the derivative of the powers okay so dy dx will be equal to this is primary function derivative is itself plus this is e to the power x square derivative itself but this is x square now so derivative is twice x plus e power x cube derivative is e power x cube into the q x cube derivative function is 3x square only plus e to the power x to the power 4 function derivative is itself into x to the power 4 derivative is 4x cube into e to the power x to the power 5 derivative is itself into x to the power 5 is simply 5x to the power 4 and that is the answer only and then you take another question y is equal to root over of e to the power root over of x and this problem is asked in 2019 hmm. and for 4 marks you can you imagine this question is asked for 4 marks so uh, these questions may also ask because uh, if this question is asked for 4 marks so why not this uh, so this is asked in uh, 2019 you may check the um, paper final paper okay so uh, take the differentiation here first derivative is root over this outer root over function then derivative of e to the power then derivative of this root over x and x is obviously greater than 0 it may not be given in your uh, question because it it is obvious that x should be greater than 0 otherwise this root over x is an imaginary number okay so dy dx is equal to first this root over function derivative is 1 by 2 root over the function is remaining same 1 by 2 root over it is the formula because root x function derivative was 1 by 2 root x you know that so uh, this root over function derivative is 1 by 2 root the terms are remaining same into then d dx of e to the power something and derivative of e to the power something is itself okay into then the derivative of that something function that is root over x and this is simply 1 by 2 root x and the differentiation process is stops here because root x uh, x is there and x derivative is 1 so obviously need not to write there is equal to uh, this is e to the power root x is the numerator and denominator is 2 into 2 is 4 this root x is here and root over e to the power root y is uh, root x is there so you may leave the answer here you may also obviously replace this term by y also this term by y and this term by y square this is y square because if you take y square it is e to the power root x so y square also so this y square by y y square by root y oh, sorry y square by y it is simply y and y is this one so that so you may leave the answer here but for simple calculation is there you know that one okay so that is the solution and here you may also think like this this e to the power root y this can be written as root over e to the power root y whole square and one of the whole square is cancel with this term so it is remaining e to the power root x and whole root over okay so that is the answer and this term can be can also be replaced by y so y by 4 root x you may write the answer like that one also hmm? you may also write this is equal to y by 4 root x 
you may write the answer like this okay so i am erasing this okay so next we take the question number 10 this is our question number 10 y is equal to log of log of x simple the base are not given here bases are not given here that therefore you should consider the bases are simply e so y is equal to log of log x so first this is the outer function then this is the inner function so dy dx will be equal to first this outer function derivative log function derivative is 1 by 1 by x so this is log of this is considering as x so log of x derivative is 1 by that function this one that function into then this is taking as x now so it is actually in the primary function it was actually x but here it is log x therefore you are also you are to take the derivative of uh, log x also so log x derivative is simply 1 by x so it is equal to 1 by x log x very simple first this logarithm then this logarithm okay so the question number 11 is y is equal to cos x by log x simply use the quotient rule so dy dx is equal to this log x whole square log x whole square many students write this log x square but that will be wrong do not write log x square it is log x whole square so log x whole square uh, denominator mean log x into derivative of the numerator cos x derivative is simply minus sin x then minus cos x now into derivative of the denominator log x and that is simply 1 by x is equal to taking x as lcm here and this minus minus can be taken common here x is lcm so it is x log x sin x x log x sin x and minus cos x minus cos x will be plus because this minus sign is already taken away therefore it is plus cos x divided by x will go to the denominator now because because it is taking as lcm so it is x into log x whole square and that is the answer for the question so the next one y is equal to cos of log log x plus e to the power x simple again outer function is cos so cos x function is minus sin and this inner part will remain same into d dx of this part only okay so dy dx is equal to minus sin of this term is remaining same into log x derivative is 1 by x plus e to the power x is e to the power x derivative so you may leave the answer here this is not a uh, this is not compulsory line you may leave the answer it is simply taking lcm here taking lcm it is uh, 1 plus x e to the power x it is 1 plus x e to the power x by x is there and this terms are remaining same and minus sign is already there okay and that is the answer so the next question is number 13 y is equal to e to the power ax square plus bx plus c and you can solve this problem because e to the power this is taking taking as x now so e to the power x derivative is e to the power this part is remaining same into d dx of this part only and it is simply 2ax plus b okay 2ax plus b you know that so this is homework for you then y is equal to 10 square root over of x e to the power x y is equal to 10 square so here what is the most outer function mean in the priority basis which function is taken as the primary function now it is whole square actually 10 10 square x is equal to 10x whole square therefore you are to take the power function first then 10 function first power mean whole square then 10 then this root over then x into e to the power x so simple differentiation dy dx is equal to power 10x whole square that mean so 2 into 10 power will decrease by 1 into then derivative of 10 it is simply sec square function sec square it is remaining same x root over e to the power x uh, root over x e to the power x into then derivative of this root over function and that is simply 1 by 2 root over the terms are remaining same into then the derivative of this inner part mean x e to the power x and that is product x into e to the power x so x derivative is 1 e to the power x remaining same plus x remaining same then e to the power x derivative is e to the power x simple so then 
this e to the power x can be taken common and the rest of the terms remaining same this 2 is cancel here 2 is cancel so this is e to the power x common so it is simply x plus 1 e to the power x into x plus 1 into this 10 root over x e to the power x into this sec square x root over x to the power e to the power x and divided by this is remaining same and that is the answer so this is homework for you y is equal to log of sec x plus 10x so log of sec x plus 10x this is homework you can solve yourself log function derivative is 1 by sec x plus 10x then into derivative of sec x plus 10x sec x derivative is you know sec x into 10x and 10x derivative is simply sec square x then take common and simplify it will be the answer question number 16 you see y is equal to log of x minus root over 1 minus x square divided by x plus root over 1 minus x square so this is our problem now you may also solve this problem by taking this x as sine theta because in the previous chapter inverse trigonometric function in the previous chapter we already know that if a problem contains the term like a square minus x square then we take uh, a substitution x is equal to a sin theta here you see a is 1 so it is simply sin theta so you may solve this problem by taking x as a sin theta so it is not a sin theta simply sin theta so it is sin theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta then simplify it log of some terms will be there then take the differentiation that is one of the way for solving the problem but here i am not taking that way i am taking the direct differentiation of logarithm okay so dy dx will be is equal to 1 by this term is x so log derivative is 1 by this total term into the ddx of this term and that is denominator whole square okay this denominator x plus root over 1 minus x square whole square then denominator into this one into numerator derivative this x derivation is 1 minus root over derivative is 1 by 2 root over 1 minus x square into then 1 minus x square derivative is simply 1 is 0 and minus 2x then compulsory minus is this one quotient rule from quotient rule this is compulsory minus then numerator into this this term into this term into derivative of the denominator now this one so it is x derivative is 1 plus this root over function derivative is 1 by 2 root over the terms are remaining same into then 1 minus x square derivative is minus twice x then this is the uh, this term will go to the numerator the next line this is going to the numerator and by this term is remaining same into here it is remaining same here 2 and 2 is cancelled this minus will come out make it positive so by taking lcm now this 1 will multiply here so it is root over 1 plus x square this is plus 2 is already cancelled x divided by this term minus this is remaining same it is 2 cancel this minus will come here and by taking lcm so this term will product with 1 and that is simply root over 1 minus x square minus this minus is coming here so minus x by this and this is remaining same now uh, you see here one of this term is cancelled with this whole square so you see the uh, denominator is simply this into this this term this into this and this term is taken as LCM and that will come to the denominator so here in the numerator we will have this into the numerator this one that is whole square okay and if you take a minus common here this minus common here it will be plus and this is x minus root over this and this x minus root over this it is also x minus root over this will be whole square and this term will come to the denominator root over 1 minus x square and one of the term is cancelled here so this into here one of the term remaining this and it is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square have a formula it is 2 into a square plus b square and this is a minus b into a plus b formula 
so this is 2 into a square is x square and b square is root over will remove it is 1 minus x square and this term is remaining same this term is remaining same and it is a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square that is x square minus b square root over will remove so minus bracket 1 minus x square actually but i am opening the bracket so it is minus 1 plus x square okay so here this positive x square negative x square is cancelled one is there so 2 into 1 is 2 only and here x square plus x square is 2 x square minus 1 and this term is remaining same and that is the solution for the question important question okay this is one important question then we take the question number 17 y is equal to log of e to the power minus 3x sine 4x and y is equal to log of 10 to the power 5x uh, 5 of 2 minus 3x so and these two term, uh, questions are similar in method i am solving this question and it is homework for you okay so y is equal to actually we have the property of logarithm so log of e to the power this into this so this is product so ultimately actually what is this it is actually log of this term is equal to log of log of e to the uh, sorry is e to the power minus 3x then product will convert it to plus as per the property of logarithm then log of sin 4x this is the term actually sin 4x but you see but you see this term if e to the power something this power will come in front of log you know that one so minus 3x into log of e i am writing that one here it is minus 3x it is minus 3x log of e this 3x is taken here and log of e plus this log sign 4x will remain same now log e value is 1 you know that one because i am not writing the base here but the base should consider as e so log of e base e this value is 1 okay so i am erasing this this part is erasing and you see here y is equal to now this is our function but it is 1 so i am writing that line this minus 3x plus log of this one so dy dx will be equal to it is minus 3 only because x is 1 and plus log function derivative uh, the formula is 1 by x so use that then by chain rule sin x function derivative then by chain rule 4x function derivative okay so uh, dy dx is equal to this is minus 3 plus log function derivative it is 1 by sin 4x because the function is sin 4x here so 1 by sin 4x into derivative of sin is cos 4x is there into 4x function derivative is 4 only or you may also consider it is sin mx so sin mx derivative is m cos mx so it is 4 cos 4x you may write directly here and minus 3 minus 3 and then plus 4 is there and this is cot 4x you see cos 4x by sin 4x is cot 4x only so minus 3 plus 4 cot 4x that is the answer and here also you should take this logarithm 10 power 5 will come here 5 will come here okay 5 will come here then take the differentiation so log function then 10 square and then 10 function then uh, 2 minus 3x so this is homework for you you can solve it yourself and now i am going to solve this problem it is one important question this question is also asked in uh, some earlier way, uh, years i am not recalling the year but it is asked in your exam so y is equal to e to the power 10 inverse of x by root over 1 minus x square so here you take the substitution x is equal to sin theta because it is a square minus x square form so uh, let x is equal to sin theta so theta will be is equal to sin inverse x theta is sin inverse x use here so y is equal to e to the power 10 inverse of this is sin x sin theta and this is 1 minus sin square is cos square and root over of cos square is simply cos theta so e to the power 10 inverse of this is sin by cos is 10 theta this inverse 10 and forward 10 will eliminate each other simply e to the power theta and that is equal to e to the power theta is only sin inverse x you see here sin inverse x then you can take the derivative so dy dx is equal to e power function derivative is remaining same into this is 
tan inverse x and by using the chain rule the derivative of tan inverse x is simply 1 by 1 plus x square and that completes the solution of the problem. So you take the next question number 9, uh, 20. This is our question number 20 and it is also an important question you see very sincerely the question. So log of xy is equal to x square plus y square. And uh, you can differentiate this function directly by taking this xy as x. Then uh, the differentiation will be log of xy into then product function xy should also be taken again differentiation by using the chain rule. But I am not using that method. I am using a very simple method here, an alternative method. You take use the property of logarithm first because log of x into y will give us it is log x plus log y. Is not it? And the right hand side will remain same. You see this is log of x plus log of y is equal to x square plus y square. Now the function is very simple. This time you take the differentiation. But you see now our function is not explicit function. Explicit means it is not of the form of y is equal to some terms in x. Here the uh, dependent variable y is inside logarithm. So that is why this function is now uh, implicit function and now we should uh, write the line differentiating with respect to x this is compulsory line now so differentiating with respect to x we get so log x derivative is 1 by x log y derivative is 1 by y but it is not x it is y so by chain rule derivative of y is dy dx is equal to x square differentiation is 2x and y square differentiation is 2y into but it is y so it we should write dy dx now take the terms dy dx in the left hand side and other terms uh, shifted to the right hand side so dy dx is common it is dy dx is common here 1 by y is remaining and this term is going to the left side so therefore it is minus 2x is equal to 2x is already minus 2y not 2x minus 2y on the right hand side 2x is already already there and 1 by x will go to the right hand side simple uh, lcm is, uh, is y and here lcm is x so 1 dy dx into y is lcm so it is 1 minus 2 y square on the right hand side x is lcm it is 2 x square minus 1 then just take the cross product this y will go to the numerator and this term will go, come to the denominator so dy dx is equal to this y into 2x square minus 1 then this x into 1 minus 2 y square and this completes the solution of the problem. Now you check this question is a very important question 21 2 tan inverse y by x is equal to log of x square plus y square. So here you take the direct differentiation but it is also implicit function because this dependent variable y is inside tan inverse function. Therefore, you write the line differentiating with respect to x. So, differentiating with respect to x, so this 2 will remain same. 10 inverse, 10 inverse function derivative is 1 by 1 plus x square. x is y by x here. Okay. So, 2 times of this 2 is remaining here, 2 times of 1 by 1 plus this y by x is considering as x. So, this square into now y by x is differ, uh, differentiation of y by x y by x differentiation mean you are to use the quotient rule and quotient rule mean this denominator square this is x square in uh, in the numerator you should write the denominator into mean x into derivative of y that is dy dx minus the numerator mean y into derivative of denominator mean ddx of x and that is simply 1 need not to write here is equal to here uh, logarithmic function is there so differentiation will be 1 by this total terms x square plus y square. So 1 by x square plus y square into ddx of this inner function mean x square derivative is 2x plus y square derivative is 2y but this is y so it is dy dx. You have to take the differentiation of y as dy dx. So this is the differentiation line and now you just simplify it by taking LCM here. LCM is x square and that x square will go to the numerator. 2 is already here. So 2 into this x square. So 2x square. 
and taking LCM here, so x square plus y square here, LCM is x square, so it is x square plus y square, this one. And this denominator x square will go to the total numerator, this 2x square into, this is the remaining sum as it is, is equal to right hand side, this 2 is taken common and this term is already here and it will be x plus y dy dx, okay. Now simplify it, this 2 and this 2 will cancel, you see here, hmm? you see this, this 2 and this 2 is cancelling here, then this x square and this x square is cancelling here, this x square plus y square, this x square plus y square is cancelling, now the terms remaining here. What are the terms remaining? Here this terms is remaining and x plus y dy dx is remaining. So we, ri we write that line x into dy dx minus y, it is x plus y dy dx. Okay. So this is implies just simply taking dy dx common, dy dx common, it is x, this is minus y, this is x, this negative y is going to the right hand side, so plus y, then dy dx is simply this term will divide here and this is the solution for the question okay so not too many critical question hmm? these are the very simple questions actually so then the question number 22 so this question is homework for you y is equal to log of root over 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x it is a very simple question actually you see I am giving you hint then we have a formula for 1 minus cos x this is 2 sine square sine square half of the angle that is x by 2 half of the angle and this 1 plus cos x is replaced by 2 cos square cos square x by 2 you just write these two terms in the numerator and denominator. Then these two will cancel. Hmm? Then sin square by cos square will give us 10 square. Then root over 10 square will give us only 10. That means the total function is log of 10 x by 2. That is our function. Log of 10 x by 2. And differentiate that. First write the differentiation of log. Then differentiation of 10. Then differentiation of x by 2. And it uh, simplify it that is the solution for the question and this question is homework for you so i am erasing this now take question 23 y is equal to e to the power sin x into sin of e to the power x simple there is the product function e power sin x into sin e to the power x so a simple question actually one more question so dy dx is equal to product rule is applying here e to the power sin x differentiation is e to the power sin x itself into sin x derivative is cos x into the second function remaining same sin e to the power x then plus this time the first function remaining same e to the power sin x into the derivative of second function sin function that is cos e power x is remaining same then e power x derivative is e power x itself and that is the solution. Simple, uh, e to the power sin x is taking common here and these terms are remaining and that is the solution. And now we take the question, y is equal to log of root over 1 plus cos square x divided by 1 minus e to the power twice x. Simple question, this root over, log of root over mean actually whole power half and using the property of log that half will come in, in front of log okay so that is simply half of log 1 plus cos square x divided by 1 minus e to the power twice x now just to differentiate so dy dx is equal to this half is remaining there into log of this term derivative of log of this term it is 1 by this term mean reciprocal of this and that is 1 minus e to the power 2x divided by 1 plus cos square x is that clear it was actually 1 by 1 plus cos square x divided by 1 minus e to the power x. Actual term is this. But 
this will go to the numerator that is reciprocal of this term writing there one line is uh, skipped here into the ddx of this inner function that is the denominator whole square then denominator into ddx of the numerator 1 is 0 cos square function so 2 times but cos will be negative so 2 times cos x into cos x derivative is minus sin x so minus is here sin x then minus this numerator into numerator into ddx of the denominator 1 0 1 is derivative 0 then minus e to the power twice x is simply 2 e to the power twice x actually uh, e to the power mx actually so m e to the power mx like that so 2 e to the power twice x or you may uh, think about the same rule e to the power twice x into twice x derivative is 2 okay just simplify it this term is cancelled with this term this whole square whole square will cancel with 1 minus this and so it is e to the power twice x here this term is already cancelled this term is already cancelled so it is e to the power twice x into 1 plus cos square x this one this negative negative is positive okay and uh, this 2 2 2 taking common and this half is cancelled okay 2 2 half is cancelled this term is positive so I am writing uh, first this one then this negative is there 1 minus e to the power twice x is here then cos x into sin x is there you may leave the answer here so today we finish the class here in the next class we will begin the chapter logarithmic differentiation mean differentiation with the help of logarithm that is one uh, important chapter actually uh, actually all the classes till now we have taken about differentiation methods of differentiation these are foundation course for that chapter actually hmm. so that is a very important chapter so you should concentrate in that class so we uh, we finish this class today and till then thank you very much